Thank you very much, everyone. I'm really glad you all understood. <laughs> You're still putting up a fight. Like pitiful children. Shut up! You're like a broken record with that! We're not pitiful! It's you we pity for believing this is anything like a true bond! Pity? Me? But I'm perfectly happy. Everyone yearns for me after all. That's what happiness is. <laughs> you just don't have the joys of truly abandoning yourself. <laughs> Damn it! Oh no! It's gone again! Hmm. We did at least learn one important thing from what the voice said. We did? You mean about how Mizo Chimisu made a deal with that voice? Broadly, yes. But the terms the voice spoke of were more specific. It mentioned that the only ones who can come to this world are those who wish to do so. And from that, we can deduce something crucial. Like? I've actually been wondering about this the whole time. When we first came to this world, that voice half forced us out. Yet when we returned to save the girls of Kahneman Kitchen, the voice never attempted to drive us away. This is despite how inconvenient it would be for that voice's plans if we had rescued all four of the girls. You know, it's true. If our being here could have messed up its plans, then you'd think all it would have had to do is force us out again. Yes. From that perspective, I'd hesitate to believe that what the voice said was untrue. Actually, there's one mystery left regarding this point. Th there is? You mean the time when it happens? No. Excluding the members of Konamine Kitchen, all of the incidents were concentrated around midnight. What I was trying to bring to your attention is what the victims have in common. But isn't that just how the people who watched that video on the site got here? Yes, that's the first condition. But some victims fell into a coma, and some didn't, even when they were watching the video side by side. Until now, I couldn't determine what separated the two. Huh, I see your point. That is pretty weird. I mean, leaving aside Risei and the Kanamine Kitchen girls who got brought here to perform, it doesn't make sense that some fell in while others didn't if they watched the video under the same conditions. Indeed, but everything makes sense now. The victims were all people who wished to enter this world. Whoa! Are you serious? What are you saying now, Doku? There's no way anyone would want that for themselves! I can see where some people might. Even if no one wishes specifically to fall into the midnight stage, they could get there by wishing for something else. You're absolutely correct, Senpai. The condition for entering this world most likely isn't a desire to fall into the midnight stage. Rather, it's a desire in their hearts for the bonds without pain that the voice spoke of. So the ones who wanted this fake-ass bond fall into this place. Ah! That's why when we convey to the shadows about this not being a real bond, those ribbony things come whooshing off, and they sparkle away back to where they belong. I think I can understand how they feel. We were all like that once. If I hadn't met all of you, I wouldn't have been able to show anyone my true self. It's normal to want to be accepted, while still being afraid of getting hurt. Yeah. It's like my inner self is so uncool that I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. Hmm, well, your outer self isn't cool either, though. Was that seriously necessary? Can't you see what I'm getting at? All right, we should get going. We can't waste too much time. We have to express our feelings to Mizo Chimizu and bring her back with us no matter what. She knew about Yugo-san just like we thought. If she can tell us more, then we might be able to figure out who that voice really is. <laughs> 